live up to that music there. Jeez. Okay. Um, let me get my name's Brandon Stewart. Let me just tell you a little bit about myself. I just got some new jeans. Thank you. Thank you, everybody. Yeah, I just like the way that they accentuate all the crap in my pockets. That's what I like there. Look at the bolt. This is ridiculous, these jeans. Um, let's see. I think I'm getting lazy. I think that's happening. Uh, does anybody else... Like, hate it that you have to work hard to, like, be good at stuff? <laughs> Is that just me? Isn't that annoying? God, I think that's annoying, really. Like, there's really nothing in the world that I like doing more than never, ever doing it. Ever. <laughs> ever. That's my favorite thing to do. <laughs> like, uh, like, the people that I hate. I hate people that are, like, uh, just naturally talented. You know, just born with talent, like prodigies. Like, screw these people, right? Like, what's up with that? But I also hate people who work really, really hard and get good at something slowly over time. <laughs> I screw those people too, like, who does that? It's, I guess what I'm trying to say is I just hate successful people, that's what I'm getting at. They're either making me look bad without even trying, or they're making me look bad by trying. That's what they're doing. Uh, I'm in my 30s now. Um, really my only goal at this point is just to not fail at everything I ever do. <laughs> daily. Like, if I can get through a day without failing, like, that's a successful day right there, is what's going on. Like, uh, uh, like when you're a child, like, all you're trying to do as a kid is just try to succeed at everything you're doing, right? But when you become an adult, all you're trying to do is not fail at all the things that you were successful at when you were a kid. <laughs> that's all you're trying to do. Uh, recently, though, I discovered a little loophole. It actually makes it impossible for you to ever fail at anything. And it's called quitting. I love quitting. Have you heard of this? I quit everything now. I love it. It's my favorite. Like, when you're a kid, you don't know that this is an option, that you can do this. When you're, no one tells you this. When you're a kid, you don't know that if you suck at basketball, you can just stop playing basketball. And you can go home and watch TV. You don't know that that's an option, that you can do that. Like, you're still technically a failure, I guess, but you're failing by choice, so it's different, all right? Don't think of yourself as a quitter. Think of yourself as a preemptive failure. <laughs> this is what you are. I had a dream the other night that uh, one of my friends won the lottery. That's how low my self-esteem is. In my dreams, other people's dreams come true. <laughs> Why should something good happen to me? I'm just a creator of the dream, that's all. No, my dreams usually involve me, like, uh, falling off a cliff, or all my teeth falling out, or my hands turning into ping-pong paddles. And those are the good dreams that I have right there. I think why I have these dreams is that my brain is just setting the bar low for when I wake up the next morning. So when I get up, I'm like, oh, hey, another day of anxiety and depression, but at least I don't have ping-pong hands. <laughs> Starting off this day right. Uh, I notice that women, uh, they are, they don't like it when creepy guys talk to them. It's one of their least favorite things I've noticed. They don't even like it when creepy guys are near them, like in their vicinity. I wonder, like, how are women able to tell which guys are creepy guys, right? As far as I can tell, all guys are creepy guys. Am I right? Every guy I ever met is a creepy guy. I even creep myself out sometimes, to be honest with you. So I'm wondering, how is a woman able to look at a man and just tell by looking at him that he's a creepy guy? And I think I figured it out. Creepy guys are just ugly guys. <laughs> creepy guys do all the same things normal guys do. They just do it with an ugly face. <laughs> like, if you put a woman in front of a creepy guy lineup with George Clooney, Brad Pitt, Jared Leto, and Steve Buscemi? <laughs> Who do you think she's gonna pick out of that group? Oh, there's something about number four that's creeping me out. Something about his bulbous eyeballs and crooked teeth and greasy hair. Just putting off a creepy vibe. I don't really know. Can't put my finger on what that is. Um, uh, I hate advertising, commercials. I think commercials are getting more and more annoying. Someone loves commercials, they're the best. Um, but uh, there's really only two types of commercials I've found. There's commercials for things that we don't need, and there are commercials for things that we don't need commercials for. Do we still need commercials for toilet paper? I think this is one of those products that sells itself at this point, don't you think? I mean, you don't see commercials for forks or light bulbs. 
I don't know, toilet paper companies, maybe, maybe they still feel the need to advertise, I don't know, maybe to toilet paper sales are going down the crapper. I don't know. Okay. That's a gauge on you. Uh, speaking of commercials, I was watching a commercial the other day, I think it was for like Pizza Hut or something, and in the commercial they had uh, a home video footage of a baby water skiing. Like a real water skiing baby, like no CGI, it wasn't like a puppet or anything. But at the bottom of the screen, I'm not making this up, in tiny writing it said, Do not attempt professional baby. <laughs> oh, okay. We're not dealing with some moocher baby here, just sucking off the government teat, right? This is a baby with a job. But not just any job, a professional water skiing job. Like, that's a dream job right there. No nine to five office job for this baby. But the most annoying thing about seeing a water skiing baby on television is that at the age of two, this baby's already more accomplished than I am. <laughs> I'm 34 years old. I don't have a job. I just lay around the house all day watching cartoons and eating Cheerios. If anything, I'm the professional baby. <laughs> I've been doing it my entire life. I think I'm qualified in this manner. <laughs> all right, that's it for me, everybody. Thank you very much.